Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to troubleshoot Cisco routers for network connectivity problems. For this demo, I am going to use this topology. I have already configured four Cisco routers with configurations. In my previous video, I have already explained how to configure Cisco routers interface with IP address and how to do static routing. For the purpose of troubleshooting, I already broken some configurations. Today we are going to see from router 1 G00 interface to router 2 outside network, loopback interface 20.1.1.2. We are going to check the connectivity between router 1 G00 interface and router 2 external network, loopback interface 20.1.1.2. For that, I will start from router 1. From router 1 to, I am going to ping this router to external network 20.1.1.2. I will go to router 1 console. I will ping 20.1.1.2. Here you can see the ping is not working. It is not getting any response. So now we have to troubleshoot. Where is the problem we have to find out now. First, we will check the interface configurations in the router one. Show IP interface in brief. Here we can see the interface status is showing up. First, we have to see the interface status of interface G00. That is up and it is configured with the right IP address. Um, so before that, we can check whether we can reach from router 1 G00 to uh, router 4, that's edge router 4 G00 inter interface. We will ping 192.168.1.25. That is the edge router G00 interface. Why it is working? So we have connectivity from router 1 G00 interface to router 2 G00 interface, we have connectivity. Now we will check the connectivity to the next interface, router 1's external outer interface G01. What is the IP address? 15.1.1.25. It is not working. It is not sending the not getting the response, ping response. So what we can do, we will check the routing table of R1. Show IP route. In the routing table, we can see we have the routes to and any unknown destination. It can send the packets to any unknown destination. So we have the route. But here we can see the next half IP address, IP, net next half IP address. So what is the next half IP address? We can see from the topology, it should be configured with 192.168.1.25. But it is wrongly configured with 192.168.1.20, wrong IP address. We have to change that. So before that, we can check the IP address if you want to check the IP address of G router 4 G00 interface. We'll go to router 4. We'll check the IP address. Show run interface G00. Here we can see the interface IP address is 1.25. But we are here, we are wrongly configured with one on next swap IP address as 1.20. So we have to change in router one. So first we will check the what we have configured in the static route in the running configurations, including route command. Here we can see it is configured with wrong IP address. So now we have to change this IP address. So I'll go to configuration mode. 
first we have to remove, remove the existing root. Now we have successfully removed that. Now we have to configure with correct IP address. That is 192.168.1.25. That is the next hub IP address, next hub router's IP address. We will save this configuration also. Now we can check in the routing table. The IP address is changed. The next hub router's IP address is successfully changed. Now we will paint to the external IP address of the router for 15.1.1.25. But it is still not getting this is U means it is not getting ICMP response from router in along the path. So what we will do now we can we have cleared everything from the router one interface status is okay and we have successfully configured the static default route with correct next up IP address. So what we will do we will go to router four and we will check the relevant configurations from there. Router 4, first we will check the routing table whether we are having route. This router 4 is having the route for these networks. We will check there. Show IP route. In this routing table, we can see we have two static routes to 192, 168.2.1 and 192.168.3.1. That is the network in the router one. Router one's low back interface network. Uh, but we don't have route to this uh, outside network from R2 router. So we will check in the running configurations whether we have configured any routes to that network. Include route. But here we can see we have the two static routes which we, which is already shown in this routing table and uh, another route also we have configured but it is not displaying in the routing table IP route the default route we have successfully configured with the next hop IP address is 15.1.1.2 that is the IP address of router to G00 interface so we have the route to reach the destination, but it is not displaying in the uh, it is not displaying in the routing table. So we will check the interface status now whether this interface G01 is up or down. So run interface G01. Here we can see the interface is shut down. We can check the status of the interface overall. Here also we can see interface G01 is administratively down. Administratively down means it is shut down. In the running configuration, we can see it is shut down. That is the reason it is not showing that default route in the routing table. So now what we have to do? We have to issue no, no shutdown command in the Interface G01, we got to issue no shut command. Let's say these configurations. Now we have successfully configured. We will once again go and check the routing table now. The routing table, yeah, now we can see it is displaying the static default route. Here we can see this is the static default route with the uh, next hub, right next hub IP address 15.1.1.2. Now I will go back to router one, whether I can reach the, whether I can reach the uh, G01 interface of router four. We will ping that, uh, now it is reachable. So from router one, 
So we can reach the uh, router for G0 interface. Now we, we can reach the router G01 interface. Now we will check whether we can reach this interface, G00 interface of router 2. 15.1.1.2. We are not getting any response from that. So it is not working. So now we have verified all the configurations in the router for once again, I will go to router to check to check the any configuration changes. I'll go to router to We will check the interface configuration. Interfaces interface G00 is up, status is up, and the IP address is correct. It is configured with the right IP address. And the loopback IP address is also showing the up status. So, what we have to do now, I will go to the routing table to verify whether it, it's having the route back to this 192, 168, 1.0. So to get the ping reply from this network 20.1.2, this router 2 should have the route back to this 192, 168, 1.0 network. Otherwise, the ping will not work. Now we will check that. We are having three static routes along with connected and local routes. One static route is 172.16.1.0, that is this DMZ network. And another two networks are 2.0192.168.3.0. These two networks are uh, loopback interface of router one, but it doesn't have route for 192.168.1.0. Uh, so we will configure and check whether we can reach this network. What I'll do, configure, I'll go to configuration mode. I'll write this command IP road. For the destination network 192, 168.1.0, 255.255.255.0. This is the destination network. We don't have this route in the router to IP routing table. So we are configuring this. So I forgot to give the next hop IP address. Uh, the next hop is next hop IP address is 15.1.1.25. That is router for G01 interface. Okay. Now I will save this configuration. Now I will once again check the routing table. Now here we can see the routes are added in the routing table. So I will go back to router one. Now we will check whether I can reach from router one G00 interface to router to G00 interface. That is 15.1.1.2. Yes, now it is successfully working. What I will do now, I will ping the outside network interface 20.1.1.2. So I will ping 20.1.1.2. It is also successfully working. Now we got the connectivity from router 1 G00 interface to router 2 loopback interface. This is how we have to do troubleshooting for any network connectivity issues. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.